Buenos dias everyone! So you may be wondering why we haven't been making as many videos lately and it's actually because we've been a little house ridden lately. So I explained the story in our most recent blog post which I can link below down in the description but basically we've been having AC issues and it's forced us to stay home because we're constantly waiting for the technician to come but Good news is our bedroom AC works again, so we can now have cool nights while we sleep. But right now we're basically just having a cleaning day because there's not much else we can do. We were supposed to have the AC technician guy come around 1 or 2 today. It's already, I think, past 1, so fingers crossed that he actually shows up. But yeah, we've just been cleaning so I can show you around a bit. Look how clean our bathroom is. For once. Oh, and you may notice we have sticky notes everywhere. Um, I don't know if we showed that in our last video of the tour, but um, we're also doing our sheets today, so that's why that's like that. But we have sticky notes everywhere teaching us a little Spanish. So, um, by the way, I think colchón is mattress and then cama is bed. So yeah, you can see those all over the place. And then coming out here, Daniel's hard at work, sweeping oh, away. <laughs> we can just not keep these floors clean. They just always accumulate stuff. We need brown tile so we can't see the mess. Exactly. Make me feel better. Well, but then we'll feel it under our feet. That's as big as you. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he said he was going to be here today at 1, and I immediately said that means Thursday afternoon, right? Yeah, because it's Tuesday now, and the last <laughs> time it took him a couple days, so I don't know if it's just typical that like the day they say they come, just add on two days. Seems accurate so far in our so experience. So far, yeah. We've actually had him come back. Is this, this was his third time. Yeah. He came, diagnosed the problem, came, took apart with him and then he came and put the part back and now that AC works. Yeah. Two more still to go. Two more. They're actually not that bad. So there's like that one and then the one in our guest bedroom and they just are dripping and I've heard you can just add bleach somewhere into them and it helps clear out the like drainage or whatever. If there's like mold build up, it blocks it from draining. Hmm. But I don't know where you would put bleach at and he apparently needs like some actual parts for it. So. You're replacing all the tubing, so it's going to take a while, I think. I just don't understand why they need to replace the tubing. Because hmm. it's not the hard water in it, it's the condensation, so there shouldn't be like mineral buildup, but... It is, uh, the good news is though, it leaks water, and we have to get bottled water here, and that should be pure water, right? We could just put a jug down and yeah. uh, collect all of our water that way. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see... Sorry for the echo in here, we still don't have a lot of furniture, but... You can see the like, I don't know, is it focusing? The mark on the wall. And it's not focusing out there. Where it like has dripped it down. And we haven't tried to clear that off yet, but I don't know. Hopefully that's an easy fix. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the bedroom because it is still echoey. All we have still is the couch and tables. There's no table or rug. A rug would probably help the echo, but. And I gotta finish sweeping. And Dana has to finish sweeping in here. So we ended up getting these two little side tables though. One still in the living room, but as nightstands. We bought those secondhand from a lovely lady in the hotel zone and we had to ride a bus back with them because we're too cheap for a taxi. So we lugged those on to a couple buses. It was only one bus. Oh, you're right. We did get a taxi after one bus. So we saved a little money on the trip by taking a bus part of the way. We miscalculated how much we needed. So we could only take the taxi if we were in Centro. So we had to take the bus to get back to Centro so we could afford the taxi back. To yeah. Our <laughs> Otherwise, if you're in the hotel zone trying to take a taxi, there's a surcharge because you're in the tourist area. So Getting out of down or getting out of the hotel zone into Centro downtown area saves you a ton of money. A ton of money being forty pesos. 
<laughs> a few dollars. But to <laughs> us on a budget, it was worth it. So I'm calling Daniel my Roomba now because with all this tile, you can see so much of the like dirt on the floor more so than any of the floors we've ever had. And I really want to get one of those robotic vacuums like the Roomba. And Daniel really wants to get, what is it, some gaming system? A Nintendo Switch. So he really wants to get a Nintendo Switch. So I said if he gets that, then he has to be my Roomba instead because they're both really crazy. <laughs> He's being such a good Roomba today. Hey, Nintendo. <laughs> This is like you're the kid trying to save up their chore money to get their toy. I have to clean all the hair. Rachel sheds like a little over beast. Um, I'm gonna say a lot of that hair is yours now, mister, because I don't know if you've noticed, but Daniel's hair is getting pretty long now. What do you have to say for yourself? So yeah, it's not all beaches and sunshine all the time, but we're making do here. I guess we've kind of been inside the past two weeks, but we're hoping to do some more exciting stuff soon. It wouldn't be a good day for beach anyway. It's really cloudy. Hmm. Not a lot of sun today. Yeah. Can you tell that clouds. the rainy season's about to begin? Yeah, it has been storming a lot lately. There's been a lot of clouds and thunderstorms last night, but it is welcomed. It's a nice few hours of cool air <laughs> between the scorching humidity heat. The scorching humidity? The scorching humidity, because <laughs> when you step outside, that water burns. So I guess we're just going to be bums for the rest of the day because we just have to wait around for the sky and he tells us, or he tells our landlord when he's able to come and then we kind of just like wait for her to let us know. He has to come by five though, so at least we have eat evenings free, but... I don't know how people would do this if they had a job to go to today. Just yeah. Just like waiting around for a guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... It's weird. Excuse me. Huh? I, I wonder if we just... I have a bad technician. Yeah, either a bad technician or perhaps or a busy like busy technician. If you maybe he's just really busy. If you work full time, I'm gonna guess that you would wait for him to tell you that he's actually on his way and then leave work to go rather than wait around for him. But I don't know, we heard that I guess I kinda explained it in my blog post, but they might have an appointment that takes too long, so they have to push it back, or there's a part they're looking for and they have to go all over town to different supply stores to find it, and so it could be several days of them searching for it before they can actually come back and work on it, so you just never know how long it's gonna take, but yeah, if you work full time, it seems like how would you ever get anything fixed around your house? You just have to do it yourself? Maybe. Maybe. Are you going to learn how to fix ACs for me? We don't know those ACs. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go hit the gym in our apartment complex and... Uh, Bum around for the day until we hear from this technician. So yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, like our videos if you want to see more updates from the inside of our apartment. Yeah, we'll hopefully have more exciting videos coming to you soon. But, but we're under house arrest until further notice. Yep, <laughs> so see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Daniel's telling me my counter wiping is not up to par. It's actually getting a try. What? Fake news. Do you think you're better than me? It's probably true. <laughs> So we're stuck in here all day anyway. It's a good day to clean, sterilize, mm -hmm. materialize, fantasize. <laughs> Manifest those dreams, Daniel. Manifest destiny and eyes. <laughs> Jesus, where's this video going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm the paparazzi. Rude. How rude.
can't say that on YouTube. Bob Saget will come for you. Oh no.